So what do you do when your heel is slipping out of your shoe? That gets so annoying when you're trying to run. The last thing you wanna be doing is thinking about that foot moving around in your shoe. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best lacing technique to keep that foot and that heel locked in that shoe so you can focus on your run. Coming up next. Hey Forever Runners, Jordan here from Forever Run, where I bring some of the best tips and tools to help keep you running happier, healthier, and longer. And on this channel, I do a lot of tip videos just like this one and some gear review videos to help make your running experience a little bit better. Today's video is actually gonna be one part of a series of videos that address lacing techniques for your running shoes. So today we're gonna be talking about how to keep your heel from slipping up and down out of your shoe. We're gonna go inside the house and I'm gonna show you the best technique to keep you locked in and focused on your run. Here we go. Okay, so for this technique, you're gonna lace up your shoes as normal, but when you get to the top here, you're gonna have this last eyelet, and that's gonna be open. So what you'll do is you're gonna take your lace, and you're gonna bring it through that last eyelet, and you're gonna create a loop, just like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna go through the last eyelet, and create a loop. You're gonna cross over, and go through those loops, you're gonna pull them nice and snug so that those loops are hugging the laces really well. And now, you're just gonna pull it forward and you're gonna tie your, tie your knot, tie your bow. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give a nice secure hug around your ankle and at the heel here. So you're a lot more secure inside of your shoe and it reduces that slipping of the heel up and down. If, if it was a little loose before, it should give you a good secure fit around the ankle. Now what you want to avoid is leaving these loops too big. Because when you tighten it up, you see, let me turn here. You see when I snug it up and I, I tighten it up, that those loops, the ends of those loops come across my ankle here, across my foot. And when that happens, it doesn't give quite as secure hug around the ankle. It just tightens a lot more here at the front of the ankle. But if you cinch it down, so those loops are really tight against the sides, when you bring it forward, it's gonna, it's gonna pull everything else around the ankle. It's gonna secure it against your ankle and against your, the, the top of your heel here when you pull it forward. Just gives you more leverage and more pull around the ankle. Now to take the shoe off, you're gonna need to loosen up those loops a little bit. That way you can loosen up the rest of your laces. That's no problem. And then to tighten your shoe, just gonna start at the bottom of your laces where they're slack. Just cinch it up, tighten them up. And then you're gonna go to your loop, to the front of your loop and you're gonna tighten it up, and then you can just grab your laces, just pull to the side, and then you tie. Easy. All right, I hope you got some value out of that technique. It really makes a difference, and I actually use this in all of my all of my running shoes, no matter whether I'm slipping or not. So it, it, it really makes a huge difference, helps me feel nice and secure, and I'm sure some of you old-time runners already know this, but you beginning runners, I, I think you're gonna love this. It's gonna make a huge difference in the way your shoe fits and feels. All right, question of the day. What's your worst shoe fitting experience on a run? I, I wanna hear all about it. Connect with me in the comment section below and share, share this with all of your Forever Run community. I'm sure there's some great stories out there. Please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Tell other people about this channel as well where we can be a resource for each other to help each other have a great running experience. Stay tuned for our next videos on lacing techniques. If you have any questions about any particular foot issue or fit issue that might be resolved by a lacing technique, let me know in the comment section below as well. I hope to see you next time on Forever Run where I bring you some of the best tips and tools to keep you running happier, healthier, and longer. All right, see you next time.